Hey everybody, it's Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Welcome, you're riding with smoke. And um, I want to uh, create this video post about a, um, a process that I'm not a big fan of and I would avoid pretty much at all costs uh, if I'm you, the consumer, and that is converting your grill to a different uh, gas type. Let's talk about this. Um, reason I, I, I've been motivated to create this video because I've had numerous instances lately where a customer or a vendor ordered um, a trade a trade partner, I should say, ordered a grill in a certain gas type. Let's say they ordered the grill in uh, propane, and then months go by, we're getting ready to deliver the product, and all of a sudden. I get a phone call, oh, you know, um, we need to change the grill now from propane to natural gas. Can we do that? <clears throat> Can we do that? The grill's been sitting in the warehouse for six months. Now all of a sudden we wanna change gas types. Okay, so this is, you would you would hear about this every blue moon, all right, back in the day. Now, um, there's been a litany of these instances and they're not good, let me explain why. Um, first of all, your Weber's, your Napoleons, those types of grills, you can't convert them. Technically, you probably could convert them, but you'll you'll avoid your warranty. And what's the reason for that? Because Weber and Napoleon and other manufacturers know what an absolute upside down, pain in the ass process it is. And it's usually gonna be done by the wrong set of hands that are gonna screw the grill up and then they're gonna get a phone call asking for a replacement because the grill doesn't work anymore. <clears throat> so what do they say? You can't convert the grills. It's that simple, okay? Um, so the high-end grills, and I'm talking Lynx, I'm talking you know, Alfresco, DCS, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you can convert. They have conversion kits for them. It's still not a process that I that I recommend doing. Um, unfortunately, we've seen these instances lately where <clears throat> um, you know there's there, a mistake was made. I mean, not by me, not by us. But um, I'll give you, for instance, in Westchester County, okay, there's been a moratorium on the, uh, the, the uh, on natural gas, further products using natural gas. You can't get more natural gas. They don't want more products on your existing natural gas um, because of capacity issues. So what they've done is if you're in a normal natural gas market in lower Westchester, say south of 287, they're saying mm, you got to use propane now. Right, so you have a, a town like Scarsdale or Bronxville or <clears throat> um, you know Marinick that's normally natural gas. You've got people putting propane in propane, twenty pound propane tanks. You know, complete pain in the neck, but that's just because Conrad capped it. So we've had a lot of jobs in the last couple of years where they're using propane. So recently, we've had some orders came in. The trade vendor, trade partner set up, order in propane, gas moratorium. Okay, we ordered in propane. It's sitting in the warehouse for months, getting ready for delivery. It's, oh, you know, the contractor was able to put natural gas in. He was able to stub out, whatever. We're going to do a natural gas. Really? What am I doing with this scroll that's been sitting there for six months? So, what can happen is there are conversion kits. Now, let me, let me walk you through the process of converting a high-end grill. First of all, this is not something to be done by your contractor, by an appliance installer, um, or a handyman, all right? Because what, if in the wrong hands, the conversion process, what that will lead to is your grill becoming compromised. It will not work, and it will not be covered under warranty, okay? because the directions were not followed or it just wasn't done correctly. Um, the grill companies want a licensed plumber to do this or authorized service. Even though I think when all said and done, they would prefer that the process is not even done. But anyway, um, if you have say an alfresco grill, you need to convert it over to um, uh, natural gas from propane you have to remove the smoker tray, the drip tray, all the burners have to come out. There's a lot of stuff that has to be done in the back. 
It's a, you have to install new jets. And this is, this is covered, if you look at the Alfresco uh, Use and Care Manual, I believe it's on pages 10 through 17 that will cover this process. Now, I have had phone calls in the past from licensed plumbers. I remember this one guy. He said, I used to be able to convert Weber grills and you can't do them anymore. I should have no problem doing this high-end grill. Well, guess what? I got that phone call. He said, I give up. I can't do it. We had to have <clears throat> authorized service go out and take care of it, right? And um, there's a charge for that. I cannot overstate how important it is that you have the right set of hands do this because not every appliance installer or contractor or handyman or your buddy who just like is, you know, likes to school around with his car um, in the driveway on weekends. Like th th these are not the folks that you want doing this. You want a licensed plumber or you want authorized service from the manufacturer. Full stop. That's it. <clears throat> That's it. Because if you spent $7,300 on an Alfresco 42 inch grill, $8,500 on a Lynx, you know, uh, these are just the built-in grill heads. You get them on the carts, they're over 10 grand. You spent that amount of money, you want to get this thing converted and the wrong person does it and compromises the grill, your, your warranty's shot. It's shot. And I can't do anything about that. Okay? So, what I am going to do, because there have, again, been a, there's been an increasing amount of, oh, I need to change the grill, you know, with like three days before the delivery. I'm now going to state on our on our invoices so clearly that we have agreed upon between the homeowner, the, con the contractor, plumber, whoever's involved, that this is the gas type. It's immutable. We're not changing. That's it. It's just going to make your life easier. It's going to make your life easier. All right? I'm doing this for you people, not just for me. If there are any questions, please hit me up questions at rofgrills.com. Folks, please buy the right fuel type. Thank you.